22-year-old Sydney Monfries was a month away from receiving her diploma in front of Keating Hall on Fordham's Rose Hill campus. But in a tragic turn of events, the senior journalism student tumbled to her death early Sunday morning inside Keating's clock tower. Police say Monfries climbed into the tower with friends to get a better view of the city and slipped through a staircase landing, tumbling 40 feet down inside the structure. FDNY sources tell PIX11 Monfries had no pulse when first responders arrived, but managed to revive her, roping her down the outside of the tower because the inside spiral staircase was too narrow. She was rushed to St. Barnabas Hospital in critical condition and later passed away. I've been talking to people all day about it, and it's just, it's kind of, I feel like I'm doing it right now myself. It's kind of like speechless. Like, there's really no, not many words to describe it. Fordham's president, Father Joseph McShane, said in a letter to the university community, quote, there are no words sufficient to describe the loss of someone so young and full of promise and mere weeks from graduation. McShane says they will present Monfrey's family with a posthumous degree. The university community joined together Sunday night for a mass in Monfrey's honor as they try to process her death. An Fordham spokesperson did confirm to me that the clock tower is always locked. University officials will now be investigating to find out how the students gained access inside.